hi guys welcome back to another video today's video is a neutral eyeshadow uh, look using a new ColourPop palette to me this was the look I was able to achieve so if you want to see how I got this look and the shades that I use out the palette and how did the palette perform then make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys Okay guys, the other day I did a whole nude neutral look and the eyeshadow part was nowhere. I had all the other clips except the eyeshadow part, so I don't know what happened to it. So this is a do-over. These two videos will be up the same day, so you'll see the face application on one video and then now the eyeshadow application. So I'm going to try to recreate what I did. And I used the ColourPop Rock On palette. You know, I just hauled this on Black Friday. <laughs> So it was new to me, and I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and try it. So I took the shade, like I should remember the shades, right? Trail Mix. I'm going to just assume to say Trail Mix and not Troll Mix. <laughs> I'm going to use that shade right there and put it in my crease. Is that what I did? Yeah, that's what I did. I used three colors. And this is just a generic Amazon brush, no-name brush. It is square fluffy not round fluffy so i just took this i was editing the video and getting ready to edit the video and i'm like oh the video seems pretty short because you know mine could be like maybe like 20 or so minutes and it was short i'm like oh what is wrong so i went back to the camera try to see if you know the clip was on there nothing so i did all that talking and explaining what i was doing with the eyeshadow and was not recording at all i have to pay attention to my monitor to make sure i'm recording from now on because i've been doing it a lot lately and i don't know why so i'm just taking that and putting that in the crease this shade has some fallout but it's not bad. It's not like I'm putting it in the crease and out of the. It's not like horrible. If you get what I'm saying. And it's kind of that brick brown orange type shade. You should have saw me looking at the camera. I mean, looking at my computer while I was getting ready to edit. And I'm like, where is it? <laughs> like, where is it? I did. Had to be, and I remember looking at it because it took me six minutes to do the eyeshadow look. And I'm like, okay, six minutes, and it was a nowhere to be found. So put this in directly in the crease and the outer V. And the shadow was so pigmented, or is so pigmented, that I was happy I picked this up. And this was just kind of like a, um, a grab just because it was on sale I never saw this never had my eyes on it so it was kind of like if I get it I get it and then I use red rocks which is this one and I put it on top of the transition shade to kind of like give me and I think I want to say did I wear this to church I think I, I, this is the look I wore to church and it was so nice and I'm like because it was like a candlelight service so I, I didn't I just had on all black so I was like okay well I can make my eyes like a little neutral holiday top type look without using glitter or anything and the thing did not even record at all so I just put that kind of on top of the transition and blend it And don't worry about your ends because we're going to go eventually go back in and keep blending. Like I told y'all, eyeshadow is a blending game. You don't just put it down and it's perfect. Like you got to keep blending and blending and blending, okay? Especially around these edges. For me, it's the edges that get me every time. Okay, then what shocked me was, come on, Nana. Okay, I used the shade, yeah, Road Tripping, which was this shade right here. 
which is a new shade. And that's the shade I put all over my leg. It has a little tiny bit of glitter, but not a whole lot. So it's like a cream shade with a little bit of glitter. And I put that on my leg. And I was so shocked because for me having dark skin, this is extremely pigmented. Like, it, I usually would have to like put down a white base or pack the color on like tremendously for a white shade like this to show up on me. And you can see what it's doing. So I was a really impressed with this shade. Like super duper duper impressed. Fallout, if you don't mind fallout, then you'll be okay. It's a little bit of fallout happening, but nothing, you know, that you can't live with. I was super shocked with this palette. The pigment on this white shade. Then go back in with your transition shade, and we're going to catch the sides. Y'all see that? And take a little bit, because you know I always have to make sure my crease is covered in there. And I look down. Yep. It's all about going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I made a uh, shorts. I made a uh, reel. I'm like, oh man, I got the video coming. It's a nice nude look, whatever. Got ready to edit the video. And the eyeshadow not even on there. I was like, I can't. Just put the video out <laughs> and not do the eyeshadow because that was the main, you know, the main thing for the video was the eyeshadow palette that I never tried. Okay, I lined which with something that I have been loving. Hopefully I can find it. It's the Ruby Kisses Party, I might say Party Next Door, Party Proof Eyeliner in Black. When I've been wanting a liner, this is what I've been using. Beauty Supply Store for a dollar. Not for a dollar, Nana. Don't get ahead of yourself. $3.99. It stays all day. It doesn't smudge, and it's easy for me to apply, as you can see. I just kind of shake it, but you don't hear any balls or anything in there. I don't know why I'm shaking it. Yeah, see, yeah, I've been liking this. Take my brush, cause I see right here, a little bit of, I'm a crease person. <laughs> the crease gotta go with me. 
You gotta flow with me. Yeah, okay. I threw on some of my long calm mascara. Of course, I'm gonna throw on some lashes. But this video is just about the eyes. Which I'm so happy I did get this palette. I still like I got some. I clean up my eyebrows. Okay, be back. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the same transition shade and smoke out my lower lash line because I believe that's what I did. Yep, and then I took a little bit of my Juvia's Place Cold Black Eyeliner with a waterline. Okay, I'm going to be back. Once I throw on some lashes to show you all the completed face look with the eyes. All right, guys, made it back with the eye the neutral eyeshadow look using the Rock On palette from ColourPop, and this is how the shadow looks. I am really happy with my purchase so far. This is the best purchase I've made uh, from ColourPop in a while. You know that I wasn't expecting to be excited about. Yeah, but this is a neutral, everyday type glam that anyone can accomplish. Y'all know I like to go back in with my brush and clean up any areas. Once I have my lashes and stuff on and looking straight ahead, because that tells me how people see my eyeshadow looking straight ahead. Because nobody looks down all day or looks up all day, so... Yeah, that, I, look, I like to look straight ahead and then blend it out. But yeah, this is the completed eyeshadow look. If you have this palette, if you like this palette, if you don't like this palette, drop down. Y'all know I always like to talk to you guys. And if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all later. Bye, guys.